Hey yo everybody, and welcome to the very first episode of Pine Harbor County, a new Let's Play on the channel. In this Let's Play, we are heavily utilizing the Operating District feature found within the Service Building tab that is new to City Skylines 2. In this particular episode, I want to start laying out the roads, utilities, and first zoning areas. I hope everyone has had a wonderful week, and if everyone is ready, let's jump right on into it. So to start, I want to extend this starting road system here and extend it as a couplet system into what will eventually be our downtown area. So, I'm going to actually delete all of this right here. And if we zoom in a little bit, come to our road tools, I want two lanes and parallel. And is that okay? That's glitch. That's causing a little bit. So what I don't want is this weird thing happening here. So I'm going to delete it and I'm wondering if it's because I need to finish out this curve. You know what? I think we're going to make this even actually easier for us. I think what we're going to do... We're going to turn off Parallel Tool for now. And I am actually going to actually continue with a roundabout. Mm, I kind of want it more in the middle, so let's just get a road. drive it through. I want it to be parallel to this, so let's make a guideline. Go like so. And there we go. And of course that deleted. want this just to be a couplet. And if I just ex build this to the two-way road that we want, good old big arterial road that is, Now it will be a little bit better. It will be. Okay. So I think the reason the art, the couplet wasn't working at first was because the way these roads kind of came in, a little bit of a straight stretch uh, got that nicely situated. I think will be good. Yep. And then let's zoom out a little bit here. And let's make a nice big old curve. There we 
go. Come in right like this, I think. There we go. Okay, that came out uh, pretty, pretty good. All right, so I did make a couple of quick fixes off camera here for our couplet system. For starters, I did upgrade the middle section of Sycamore Street to be a four lane road. And I also fixed the incline for the couplet system as it comes into our hillside right here. Third, I wanted to run it along the left side hand of the train tracks instead of trying to cross it as I kept running into this curve too tight error. I'm really not too surprised by that error. Um, so for now, we're gonna just keep the couplet to the left hand side, kind of work with the terrain as we come around this bend here once we have this tile purchased and see how it looks. Awesome sauce. Now that our couplet system is in place, let's lay out the rest of our road network here. I'm gonna run this as a time lapse, um, so I will see you guys in a few moments. Okay, now we need to place some sewage, water, and electricity. Typically, I like placing wind turbines up in the mountainous regions of maps for aesthetic purposes, but this map is pretty flat. The small coal power plant, on the other hand, costs a whopping 70k a month of upkeep, and while we can export the extra power, I'm not confident the profit from the export will balance out the cost of the upkeep. Since I don't feel like failing on this map before we have even really begun, let's place the transformer for now and look into other options once we have some development points and a balanced budget. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by coming down right here, switching back to our road so everyone can see, including myself, <laughs> and I'm just going to extend this road just a little bit. And we'll place our transformer right at the end of it. And connect. Wonderful. Next, we need to place our sewage and water services. We only have one option for sewage and I'm going to place it on the right hand side for now as it not only produces contaminated water but also creates a bit of air pollution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the sewage outlet and for now I'm just going to place it right here. Ooh, look, and we got our first milestone. For now I'm going to just close out of this just for, just for now. We'll, we'll unlock, we'll unlock some of that good good in a, in a second. I plan on unlocking the wastewater plant pretty early on. 
but it's kind of really expensive. So for now, this will work. Okay, so at first I was going to place the water pumping station or the water tower, but the pumping station is the most expensive option and I'm going to be picky about the water tower. I like water towers to have a visually appealing spot and I really just don't feel we have that kind of aesthetic yet in the city. Which reminds me, we still need to name the city. Remember, we're going to use the district tool to draw out individual cities to create a larger county feel. So let me know your name suggestions in the comments below. All right. So for now I'm going to use the groundwater station and I think it may look wicked cool to have it nestled next to the fire station or something down the line. So for now, this is where our groundwater is. I don't necessarily need the groundwater pumping station to be on a ma major road. So what I'm going to do so I am going to actually grab an alleyway here. And I am just going to draw in a little nugget of a road. And oop, grab our groundwater station and place it right here. So earlier when we were placing our sewage outlet, we hit our first milestone, Tiny Village. With Tiny Village, we unlock a whole list of items such as loan limits, map tiles, city budget, city statistics, medium density row housing for both European and North American styles, roads, four lane divided roads, five lane as asymmetric roads, excuse me, um, and just a whole list of different items here. What I'm looking forward to doing the most right now is the healthcare and death care and the garbage management. I want to place these items before we start our simulation. So let's start with placing our cemetery. I think for now I want to place it right here on the penins peninsula, excuse me, as we have a good amount of space right here. Eventually, once we have this area developed, we might relocate it across the river. So let's place this, where's our roundabout? Let's place it right around here, I think would be a good spot. Looks like we've got some tearing here, so let's figure out what happened. Mm, terraforming issues. Let's try to see if we can clean that up a little bit. actually thinking what might be kind of cool can we place it this way oh we can it's actually even better so it's coming into our terraform tools so, get to leveling yeah level terrain and let's Keep the roads here for just a second. Okay. Let's redraw in our asymmetric. Let's see if we can get that really nice retaining wall. Don't think it was far enough over. No, it was not. So try this again a little bit. Let's bring down our brush size.
get it all nice and snuggly here up against this a little bit more. Flat enough for me. Slip that but I will do that in one second. want to do just a bit more terraforming because I think that would be really kind of awkward to have a crooked crooked chapel there. Okay, a lot of terraforming later, but that actually came out looking pretty good. So next I want to place our medical clinic. And what I think I would like to do is 
place this right down here. Now what I think I'd like to do is put this right here. That way if we want to upgrade anything, so say use the ambulance depot, that would fit right here, right on over the parking. And then we also have a little bit of space to the side here. Now to make sure I don't forget about this space, I'm actually going to come back into terraforming and I'm going to grab a tree. Let's get a linden, I think. Linden or birch. Ooh, a birch. Or spruce. Oh, so many good trees. We'll go with the linden. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of line the road right here. And I think when, once those grows grow up, they might uh, be a little too chunky. So we'll go like this. And this is gonna leave us enough space. Oops, sorry about that. This will leave us enough space. So that way, if we do need or want to add that next uh, expansion on, that next upgrade, we, we haven't filled that space in with anything. However, on the other hand, if we don't end up needing this extension wing upgrade, we've got some nice decoration already in place. All right, so next we're gonna place the landfill and I am gonna place it over here to the right hand side of our couplet system. This will be downwind for us. So if I come into our zoning here and quickly just click on industry, we can see that the wind for air pollution is blowing this way. So this will be a good spot to uh, dump a lands landfill. <laughs> kind of giggling at my own pun there. Please don't judge. So let's delete that road there. And really want to build on that roundabout. I like my roundabout. I do not want to get rid of my roundabout. And we shall not get rid of the roundabout. We shall just put a road here. And take an alleyway there. And do that again when you actually remember how much you placed in there. So 40 meter alleyway. And a 40 meter alleyway. And plop, plop, plop. Alright, so we're just going to follow the road network for this. actually wonder if I can... Nope. Overlapping items. Okay, now let's come back in. I want to clean that up just a tad. There we go. Alright. Landfills. So good, so good. Okay, and finally with the tiny village, we gained a development point. So right away, I am going to unlock advanced road services because it gives us a bunch of, um, you know, fun items to play with here. We can have our road maintenance depot, traffic lights, stop signs, no left-hand turns, straight ahead, um, no right-hand turns, crosswalks, really excited about crosswalks. Gone are the days you have to cheese a crosswalk into vanilla city skylines. Uh, wide sidewalks, grass, trees, lighting, uh, sound barrier when, when we get highways. 
All right, now that we have all of our available services laid out and plopped, let's get to zoning. I'm going to do this in a bit of a time lapse, so kick back, relax, and uh, please enjoy. All right, let's wrap up this episode with a beautifying the build time lapse. But before we do that, let's address a few items first. I noticed that vehicles are not using this interchange properly here. So I am going to jump in with our road services and just put a couple of directions in place. So for starters, we're gonna allow it not to make any right hand turns here and here. And I want to take out the street lights, all these locations. Do you want to add a stop sign here? box. I don't want anyone crossing here. Be a little dangerous. Down the line we can add like um, an overpass or something if we really really want to. I'm gonna remove that one too and that one. All right. Other than that, I think we're looking pretty good. So um, how about we jump right into a beautifying the build time lapse and uh, get right down to uh, making this all look nice and pretty. All right, I think that wraps up today's episode. Thank you everyone for joining us today. I hope this episode has kickstarted your weekend off to a fun start. Next week, we will delve into the small village milestone that we unlocked during our, our zoning time lapse. If you enjoyed the episode, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up below. 
If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And finally, let me know in the comments below what you think we should name this first area. Until next time, I hope you have a phenomenal weekend.